All right, welcome back to, um, I think it's the final part of Resident Evil 2, my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. Yeah, finally, uh, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a funny thing because I started this Let's Play in the summer of 2021. Now we're in the beginning of 2024 and I'm just finishing this game, like, let that sink in. But we're at the end game, the sun is shining, it's actually quite sunny today actually. Yeah, it's in my eyes a little bit, but I don't mind. But... There we are, let's get on with it. Right, uh, should we dump some stuff before we move on? Because I just can't remember, uh... Definitely don't need the increments. Uh... Should bring... To be honest though, dude... I'm gonna take a bit of a risk, I don't think I need the shotgun with me. That, that might... Come to haunt me later, but... I feel like really at this point I should be using more healing items really. Right. But yeah, finally finishing this game. Because uh, I want to move on to finishing Resident Evil HD and then I can move on to Resident Evil 3. So that's going to be my plan. Um, decided to do the PC version of the second half of the Resident Evil 1 remake because... There's some mods I've installed for it, which enhances the experience a little bit. Right. Uh, now, i got to say this. You know that PS Plus Premium thing, uh, the thing on um, PlayStation? Why is Resident Evil 2 and 3 Originals not on there yet? I mean, I've got them on my PS3, which is great, but I like to play these games upscaled, you know? Oh yeah, where is Claire at this point? I can't remember what she dealt with um, before. Oh, because we get the train moving and then and then she comes. But I think we got a showdown of the mutated Mr. X. Again, how do you know it's useless, Leon? But then again, gameplay wise, why would you keep it? Right. Uh, okay, it's timed as usual. Right. Um, to be honest, it's been a bit of a while since I played the final part of the B scenario, so my memory is going to be be a bit hazy. So we've got an item box in case we do need it. To be honest, yeah, I should have took the submachine gun, but I'll, I'll do that now. Uh, do we have submachine ammo as well? Do we need that at all? Hmm. Excuse me, what's that? Yeah, to be honest, I feel like we should make the most of this space as we can, really. Only leave one slot just in case there's something else we need. Like a key item uh, that's required for this bit. But yeah. I've left this Let's Play going on for far too long. It's been over two years now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, got a bit of the stuffy nose this morning as well. So if I'm not talking as much, do apologise for that. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. Uh, crap, I left myself in a bit of a... Oh, I can't be bothered to go back, I'll just... Yeah, that was a waste of a herb, but we're, we're at the end of the game at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure. I think I'll use uh, the submachine gun against Mr. X, uh, to be honest. Because having a faster weapon, I think. Because with the Desert Eagle, the Magnum. I thought something was going on there. With the the Magnum, I think it takes Leon a long time to finish his like animation. Right, the emergency mode has been activated. The power supply will be cut temporarily. Uh, I don't want to read all this because of the time. Just a bit conscious now. There he is. Mr. X is pissed off. Looks similar to the Tyrant from the first game, really. Oh shit, I forgot about that running animation he does. Alright, not a good start, not a good start. He's already uh, wounded me. Uh, I know I'm on caution, but I don't really want to risk it, really. 
he's already freaking wounding me as well. Right, how do you stop him from doing that running animation? That's what's... Shit, that's what's throwing me off a little bit. Alright, maybe... Not too much of a distance from him, because then he'll start charging. Shit. Alright, now he's got me on danger. Oh, I thought you were dead. And Mr. X is just uh, casually just waiting. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Alright, that's not good. Um, if he hits me while I... Uh, Alright, let, let's just get rid of Mr. X. No more talking. I've had enough of this guy for one day. Well done, Leon. Very similar to the first game's uh, boss defeat as well. <laughs> nice throwback. And Ada just pisses off. We're not going to see her until... Uh, is it Resident Evil 4? That we next see her? I don't know. Um, wait a minute. Uh... Hopefully I wasn't supposed to do anything else. I'm just going to go back to the train because the power is back on. But I think we got just about enough time anyway. Um, oh, right. Um, we do have another secret, not secret boss, but we got the, we've got like a small, not even a small one. We've got another endgame boss, basically. Uh, of course I'll keep the rocket launcher. I think what we go what we got is good enough. I think obviously I'll take some more healing with me. Ah, we haven't got any more red herbs, surprisingly. Hmm. <coughs> now I'll just take the shotgun then. Ah, oh, look how cool, cool this rocket launcher is. I'm pretty sure you can have this rocket launcher. If you complete this game in a certain rank and this like available in your item box. Not sure if we're gonna get a good enough roll shit. Good enough rank to do this. Oh yeah, Claire deals with the zombies, doesn't she? Right, uh do I talk to Sherry? Oh, wasting more of my time. Tunnel gate isn't. Oh fuck! That's what. Yeah, I know. I forgot something. Oh, that's why the zombies were there, of course. Right, my mistake. I do like this magnum though. It's really, 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 really powerful. Really good. But the thing is, though. Yeah, see, I knew I forgot something. But the thing is, though, uh, by the end of the game, we're left with so much ammo. Because, um, again, if you know where to look for stuff, then... Um, uh, do you know what? I'm going to finish these two off. Oh, two for one. Cool. Yeah, this is why I wish the PS1 version had a hard, hard mode, as in ammo was even more limited. Make this game a bit more challenging. Because this game is a, is a bit easy. If you know, if you've completed this game enough times, anyway. All right, I think we got another cutscene. I don't know, it might be just the version I'm playing, but I think the audio mixing for the cutscenes isn't very good. Like, I can't make out the dialogue most of the time. Because the music. Not now. Come on, 
Oh, that's a bit rude. Make your mind up, Leon. Yeah, not over. We've got one more pain in the ass to deal with before we uh, finish this game. This must be. This must have been a really big thing. Um, Whoever, like, well, when this game came out and you finished both scenarios, you're probably thinking what the hell is going on. What was that? What was that? <sighs> Gotta love the voice acting in this in these games. <laughs> Does everything need to blow up in this game? I mean, it's ridiculous. What's wrong? Uh, that's not good. Well, basically we got one more boss fight. Uh, one more pain in the ass. Not too difficult of a fight from what I remember. I do love this soundtrack though. Yep, yeah, we got the whatever mutation of Mr. Birkin that is. That's fucking terrifying though. I'm not even going to describe what that looks like. Um, I mean, I heard jokes about it before, but yeah, fuck that. Alright, just make sure I got one blast from the shotgun and I think, do you know what? Just gonna unleash this, to be fair. Just shoot it till it fucking dies. Cyber demon way. Okay, it's getting a bit too uh, uncomfortably close. And that's him dead, I think. Don't let that stuff touch you. But is he dead though? Is he really? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I knew he wasn't dead. It's a good idea to include. Oh, fuck it. Doesn't matter. She's got plot armor. She'll be fine. Hmm. Which one's the right if that was any other character, that thing would have just swallowed the person whole by now. Claire? Claire! Right here! Claire! 
guess we all made it. They just won't quit. Come on, we have to get out of here. Run! Yeah, it's the title screen. So, it's finally over. Not really. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. I mean, you've got many more sequels. Time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. Yeah, it's gonna take you a few games though. Right. That was uh Resident Evil 2. Oh, this is uh very rewarding to get at the end of like beating both scenarios, this uh these credits and the music. Yeah, so that was Resident Evil 2, a long time coming. Uh I've uh Realistically, I should have been in this Let's Play a long time ago, but you know, stuff gets in the way, and uh, to be fair, I did kind of prioritise Tomb Raider over this. Uh, Tomb Raider as a Let's Play was doing a lot we uh, a lot better. Uh, so yeah, overall I'll say I'm a bit disappointed that this Let's Play never really got any uh, traction or like recognition or, or anything like that. But I'll still go through playing Resident Evil uh, 1 Remake and... Resident Evil 3, because I, I do enjoy playing them. It's just it's a bit disappointing this Let's Play didn't really... It never really kicked off, if you, if you know what I'm saying. But, doesn't matter. Yeah, uh... Don't know what else to say, really. So, that's one full Resident Evil game I've completed on my channel, because I've still got to finish Res Resident Evil 1 Remake, so that's not really a full, complete Let's Play, really. But... Yeah, enjoyed this game from beginning to end. One of my favourite survival horror games of all time. I mean, I slide the general consensus. Well, Resident Evil 2 is pretty much up there. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just interested to see what rank ranking uh, I've got now. Uh, I mean, either way, it doesn't matter, because I've got a save file where I had both A ranks on both scenarios, so... I can still play the extra modes, but I think I'll unlock the extra modes anyway, to be honest. I think it's if you get A ranks in both... Oh no, I think it is the A ranks you need to get. You need to get an A rank in at least one of the scenarios, at least. Did I get... What did I get in the A scenario? Was it a B, wasn't it? I never really checked back in a long time. Well played, Capcom. You've made a... Superb game here. And that was Resident Evil 2. I won't ever try to attempt the title screen voice again. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, I got a B. Okay. Um, I actually did really... Decently then, I was expecting like a C or something, but just under four hours. Um, I think for the A rank, I think you need three saves or less. With the total time around the three to four hour mark, I think. Your reward, you'll receive less points by using a special weapon. I think points is the ranking system, to be honest. Check item box. To be honest, I mean... The whole infinite ammo thing you get in the box, the whole special weapons thing, I, I don't know, I don't really use them because that defeats the purpose of playing a survival horror, but it's there for fun if you need it. Uh, yeah. Right, I will not save on the scenario second, I'm going to save Story Mail. Let's do that. If I ever want to start, start Claire's scenario again, it's right there. Nope. You can play another scenario if you make a new save data. Ah. I'm assuming that's the honk mode, is it? 
I mean, either way, I got the honk mode anyway, so I can always like showcase that. Oh, if I make another save data. Uh, I mean... Oh no, this is the uh, the battle... Uh, oh, what do you call it? The... Oh yeah, of course you can get like unlock unlockable costumes as well. Yeah, we'll be seeing Brad again in Resident Evil 3 though. Reach the police station without getting any items. I suppose that also makes it challenging as well, I mean... I don't know. Anyway, anything else of unlocks? So this is what I loved about the old Resident Evil games, I mean... It had so much content for the time as well, you'd be unlocking stuff left, right and centre, like... You've got the hunk mode, you've got the ex-battle mode, you've got a range game, you've got... All this stuff, costumes, all this stuff to keep you back into the game. Replay value and stuff, and then you got the mercenaries from Resident Evil 3. Like, it was pretty much like... And you got the different Resident Evil 2 versions with the... Ah, oh, I forgot it. There, there was a mode in one of the versions where it mixes up all the items, so... The item placements are different in every playthrough, so, like, it's just endless the amount of content that the old Resident Evils used to give us, you know. But, that ends my Resident Evil 2 journey, uh, until I showcase the honk mode, if I ever can be bothered to do that. <laughs> if you want me to do it, yeah, put it in the comments below, and I'll, <coughs> I'll, I'll give it a go. But, yeah, so that concludes my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play, and hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoy playing it. Uh, and I will see you for Resident Evil 1 HD Jill scenario. Um, i got to unlock the One Dangerous Zombie mode on the PC version, because that's the version I'll be playing. So, yeah, I'll be busy trying to unlock that. Um, but yeah, until then. Do you know what's funny as well? I'm also filming my ending for... Oh, by the way, if I'm, I'm moving the menu so I don't go to demo mode. Um, yeah, I'm also filming the final part of my Tomb Raider Let's Play, Tomb Raider 2 Let's Play as well. So it's kind of funny these two are ending at the same time. But anyway, until then, I'll see you for the next Resident Evil Let's Play. And take care of yourselves, and goodbye. <laughs>